cleaning validation is uh, the methodology we use to assure that residues are removed from equipment. Uh, industry is changing in terms of the expectations for cleaning validation. Currently, the expectation is that uh, residues are removed at a safe level uh, based on toxicology data. And uh, because of that, different companies need to assess if their cleaning is appropriate or not to meet that expectation. And this guide will help to assess their current cleaning processes and to figure out how to move health phase exposure limit type of cleaning. The cleaning validation life cycle is a concept that we are adopting from the process validation. Usually it's the awareness or the application of the principles used in different stages. We have a stage one, which is uh, development of the cleaning process, where we select the methods and we characterize residues. A stage two would be uh, the implementation and demonstration that the cleaning works. And our third stage would be monitoring that the cleaning process is still valid. So that constitutes a life cycle where we go from one to two to three, and then as necessary, back again. Three key takeaways for, for the cleaning validation guidance are, first of all, is a great compendia of the principles for cleaning validation uh, generated by a group of experts that are practitioners uh, of cleaning validation. So right there in, in the guidance, you have a, a collection of different ways to achieve the same purpose. The second takeaway is that it has been reviewed or, or, or at least shared with regulators and we have received feedback from regulators and that has made the guidance stronger. The third takeaway is that we're emphasizing the how-to aspect of the cleaning validation, meaning that in addition to the principle, we really want to demonstrate how that principle is applied and we use, that, we use examples to achieve that. To my understanding, it's the best collection I've seen so far uh, that includes principles, very good guidance from experienced people, and also the regulatory aspects and examples on how to achieve it.